guys, it's my ID doll 13 and today I'm going to be showing you the mini buns and how to do them. This works best on dolls with hair like Molly's, which is about a little lower than her shoulder and is very thin and not layered. You could do this on other dolls, but I just feel the results work best on dolls like her. Okay, let's begin. Okay, the first thing you'll need is a doll with Molly's hair length, thin hair like Molly's, and no layers. You'll also need an American Girl doll brand hairbrush, a spray bottle, two random hair elastics. Their colors does not matter because they won't end up showing too much in the end. And the last thing you'll need are two more hair elastics, except these need to be more like rubber bands and stretchy rather than ponytail holders. So the first step in these hair tutorials, as always, is to get out your spray bottle and spray down the doll's hair. Next, brush through her hair so that no tangles are remaining whenever you start styling. Now that you're done brushing out your, hair, your doll's hair, split the doll's hair into two sections. You're going to want to put two ponytails in the doll's hair and make sure they're even. You don't want lopsided mini buns. Your doll should now have her pigtails in and they should be diagonal to the ear. And if they are not, just give the pigtail a quick tug in the way it needs to go. That way, the pigtails should be even and ready to go. You are now ready to start constructing the mini bun. Brush out the pigtail that you chose to do for your first mini bun so there are no tangles when you start. Okay, now you're going to take two fingers and simply twirl the hair around them. So you get a nice tight twist throughout the entire pigtail of hair. Okay, now that it's all twisted, you are going to wrap the twist around the ponytail holder. So you get a nice little mini bun. Then, once you've constructed the mini bun, hold on to it, take a stretchy hair elastic, and put it around the bun so it stays in place. You now have one out of two mini buns completed. This is what the first mini bun should look like. There should be a miniature hole in the middle and you shouldn't be able to see the original ponytail holder. This is how it looks from the front. You'll need to mimic my first instructions for this pigtail and you'll probably have to pause the video and unfull screen it. While doing that, if you could give this video a like, that would be great, and I'll catch you right after we do the other mini bun. So, this should be the final result of your guys' mini buns. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you could just hit the button and subscribe and like this video, that would be so great. Comment below how your little mini buns turned out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!